Now I'm not a handyman at all, but I think this is going to work. <laughs> Making a fishing rod holder out of a pool noodle, how cool is that? Okay, now for this cutting part, I'm not going to use a tape measure. I don't want it to look too formal. It's my shed. Sheds don't have to be neat and tidy and formal. I'm just going to use the old eyeometer. Look at that, I just made my own pool noodle fishing rod holder. <laughs> now I'm not a handyman, but if I can do this, anyone can. I'm gonna walk through it now and show you what I've done and how I made it and what issues I had. Firstly, I went to Bunnings and bought a pool noodle for about, actually I got it at Kmart in Wangaratta for about $3. Now what I've done, I've got two of these little mini Oki straps here, the really small ones. And I've stretched them as far as I could go, then I've marked that on in the dust up here. Because there is a dust, and there's one up this end as well. Now that one went to there. I then measured a bit of green cord from that mark to that mark. Knowing that that would be pulling the Oki straps as far as I could go. I tied a loop in each end of the green cord. I threaded the cord through the pool noodle, hooked it up to the edge of the Oki strap and, and put it through. And that held it in place, but it was loose. It was very loose, so I thought that's not strong enough. I need to strengthen it a bit. So I've got a couple of cable ties. One, two, three, and I put the cable ties there. I didn't have long enough cable ties, so I had to get small cable ties and cable tie them together. There's the join just there, and you can see the other one up the back there. So I've got the hockey straps and the green cord. Should the cable ties pull through this at any stage, or break at any stage, they shouldn't, but if they do, then the hockey straps and the green cord will kick in and prevent the whole fishing rod and holder from falling over. Now then, it was a simple case. I was going to get a tape measure and measure it, and then I thought, bugger, if I put them all sort of as close as they need to be together, then that should be, that should be good enough, and I'm actually happy with it. It is good enough. I cut a slit. The rod didn't go in the slit, so I had to sort of cut a groove, and that worked well. There was problems such as with this rod here, where there's a runner on the rod that goes right where the groove is. So I had to cut across a little bit as well as up and down to get that to fit. These all went in fine. This one was a real issue. This was a problem. This one had to go in backwards. He's alright now that he's in backwards. Because this particular rod, it's only a really light fishing rod. But it's got quite a heavy old reel and two great big sinkers hanging off there. And it was actually throwing the balance out. Which means that this, uh, I just kept wanting to fall forward. So what I've done, I've turned around and faced it in backwards like that. And it just sits there perfectly. Other than that, all good. The fly rods down the end here, I've had to break them in the half because they're too long and they were hitting the roof. And there it is. There you have it. My cheap, cheap to make, do it yourself, pool noodle fishing rod holder. My rods are all organised. Thank you.